All right, let's go ahead and go over the KOF collab. That's awesome. Mm. Mm. Hashtag nerfed on global. Oh, <laughs> I've waited for like three minutes. That was a great way to wake up. That's going to go. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's Japanese staff. Okay. So first bit of news that we got on here, besides before we go to the other news, is that we know we're gonna get tickets for the uh, anniversary, uh, for this uh, collaboration event. Uh, also, there's gonna be some kind of harbor where Taizu's getting drunk, drinking away his sorrows, feels bad Taizu, F's in chat for Taizu. His life has gone down the shitter, but I guess he's gonna be pretty happy soon because he's able to uh, talk about it. Oh, he's wishing. Oh, he is wishing. That's what happened. He did. He makes a wish. Oh, I get the symbolism. So the reason all this bullshit happens is because of Taizu. Taizu, had you not done this, we probably would have got a better collab. <laughs> It would have been Demon Slayer had it not been Taizu screwing up here. We can all blame Taizu for the no Demon Slayer collab, right? He wanted an arena matchup in the Seven Deadly Sins characters. Yeah. I agree, Japanese staff. Oh, looks like uh, those tickets that we are getting, we're getting 14 tickets. I'm assuming it's four, not 14. These could be 14 multi-draws, but I'm assuming they are 14 single draws that we're getting over the daily logins. <laughs> they all know who this character is. So this is Athena. Cool. Oh, There's that. All right. So Athena, if any en if an ally kills an enemy on the ally's turn, at the end of the turn, they reduce the enemy's ultimate gauge by two in PvP only. If an ally kills an, an enemy in the ally's turn. So you kill any enemy and another ally at the end of the turn, reduce enemy ultimate gauge by PvP 2. So you kill someone that has a taunt on the field, basically, then they, the, uh, the rest of the enemies will lose ultimate gauge. That's kind of cool. Okay, that's a, that's a cool passive. Okay, skill 1. 240 to 500% damage on a single target. Doesn't look like skill 1. I mean, it looks it's green, so I mean, I could be wrong, you know. And then skill 2 does detonate. Okay, so this is probably the detonate card. Because it, like it, it looks like the detonate card that they're describing. Okay. Um, and it, this one is a stun card. So this is the same as Arthur's card, looks like. So this is just raw damage to the enemy, and then at 500%, it's going to be the stun. So this is like blue SSR Arthur's card for the other skill right here. And the ultimate ability is going to remove stances and deal 1050 damage. Uh, so this is single target damage uh, for this ultimate. And then the passive ability can... Okay. So I, I guess that's cool. Okay, next character. <laughs> Physics! <laughs> Physics on the waifu! <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so this one is a double attack guard character. 
Uh, it is Blue Mai. This is the waifu character. Okay. When Mai ranks up her skills, increase base stats by 15% for two turns. Okay. When she ranks up her own skills or any skills. Okay. So, like, if I'm guessing if they receive a rank up from Gother or they merge together, she gets 15% attack or 15% base stats. That's a cool passive. I mean, it's not the best, but it's kind of cool. I mean, like, I'm assuming that it it doesn't stack, but like if you like double do a double rank up on mine, maybe it did stack. Let's see. Okay, skill one is uh deals 120 to 450. Uh and reduce okay. So this is basically uh Merlin Ult Gauge rollback. Okay. And the second card is 150, 250, 150, sorry, one 100, 150, 250 amplify on all targets. Is this this is a new card. This is a brand new card. I've never seen Amplify AoE. I've never tried to see Amplify AoE. That sounds interesting. So, with the Amplify card, the damage that you get on a low rank attack, let's say, for 100% could be like 100k. Let's say that's the, like, that's the damage you could do on a 100k attack for a rank 1. Right? If you were trying to like do on mass damage to every single target on the field, and had amplify like on the pump buffs my assumption is this stacks so that you can get lots of amplify stacks so um this is interesting because the way the kit works to me in my head is that this passive to then get this okay the ultimate ability is 945 all the way up uh at max damage and then ranks up its own skills that's a new ultimate okay so you ulti you do damage and rank your skills up okay that's cool um that, that's a cool ultimate um i don't know why you would need a card rank up in pvp after ultimate but that's it's interesting okay he's <laughs> at the shortest one All right, this character is a double attack art character. Again, uh, it's going to be the red character. Um, it is Red Rio. Red Rio is going to have a passive ability at the start of the turn, give you three Ignite debuffs to all enemies for every Ignite and for every single Ignite debuff. Reduce damage taken on all heroes by 5%, excluding Annihilation. So this looks like it would work really well with a green Easton or the uh, the new King and Hellroom combo because then you could like stack ignites on enemies and you could give yourself a uh, a nice little like uh, damage buff against enemies while reducing damage taken. So this seems really broken in the current JP meta for both the green Easton comps and the, and the actual uh, King comp because uh, that would prevent all cleansing on enemies and you could just do mass damage. So that seems like an actual viable passive right now. Um, it doesn't seem like there's a cap either. So that seems really interesting. Okay, skill one, uh, reduce, sorry, deals 150, 170, 255, and 425 co-destruction uh, to a single enemy and co-destruction deals 20% more damage per debuff. Okay, this is actually a relevant debuff. So like, you know how Red Esterosa sucks? <laughs> so this is Red Esterosa, but if Red Esterosa, instead of ha getting debuffs on himself, actually gave debuffs. So this is actually a relevant card. So I'm actually very excited about this because this is the this is ruin, but ruin that doesn't actually strip the debuffs off the enemy. And this is really good in this current meta. So I'm very interested with this character. Uh, second card is deal 100 to 150 250 to scorch damage enemies. Oh, this is even better. Okay, so he scales off of extra scorches. So you you save the scorch cards too. Wow. Oh wow. You just you just give people at the start of your turn you just give everyone three ignites. Wow, that's best. So if you go first with combat class food, you do crazy damage and everybody has debuffs. So you instant trigger Easton's debuff. Wow, that's fucked. So you really don't even need with Rio, you don't even need to use Gother with an Easton composition. That is so fucked. Wow. 
No cap. You literally don't even need to use Gother. You just throw up the three debuffs and then throw Easton out there, and then you can get you can counter healing and give them three debuffs. They can rush their ultimate, but they have fucking they'll have six ignite stacks if you go first by this by, by their second turn. So I mean, they're you're taking sixty percent less damage at sorry not sixty thirty percent less damage at that point already, and then you can try to use an ultimate rollback character or another damage character to just nuke down characters. This is interesting AF. Okay. So this seems like a really cool semi-meta unit, and I'm excited to use this one because he actually seems like super relevant. Okay, Scorch, by the way, does 25% more damage to enemies, and then um, deals 735% of damage to a single target enemy who has, uh, it applies three. Oh, he has Monspeed's ultimate. Okay, this character has green and red Monspeed's ultimate. But I did see something about this as a caveat, as a change uh, that they're doing on global, uh, that the change on global might be on JP too. So I'll, I'll read that in a little bit. That was definitely worth a slow golf clap. Okay, the um, this attack, a debuff card, and a normal card uh, for ultimate. Okay, so green Omega Rugal. Passive, if the unit lives and it's below 50% HP, remove all its debuffs applied to himself and heals his HP to max, increasing all of his abilities like Hawk by 15%, limited to one time. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Let's see. Uh, skill one does... I, I didn't actually understand any of that. So he's the hot character. What? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I, I read it and didn't understand it. Let's see. I'll probably read it again. Skill one. Oh, he's a Pierce character! We're getting another Pierce character. So this is our first SSR green Pierce character. Cool! We are getting an actual Pierce character. That's... Cool. So this is cool. So we actually get instead of Hauser and Green Lizhawk, we're getting a fucking another Pierce character that actually is relevant that will have actual substats. So uh, Blue D Melly's back, baby. <laughs> so we can run the double Pierce comps again, right? All right, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Skill two deals 180, 180, 300 damage to a single enemy and reduces attack related stats by 20, 30, and 40% for one turn. All right, ultimate ability is gonna deal 300, uh, so deal 1050, ignore and ignore damage. He's literally Lizhawk? He's actually green Lizhawk. Green Omega Rugal has the exact same fucking card set as green Lizhawk. I shit you not, it's the exact same cards. <laughs> for every single ability <laughs> oh that's so fucking pep hanger dude <laughs> yeah we're gonna re-release green list hawk but I'll put her at the collab and no one will know <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they made him green Liz Hawk. Alright, so the thing that's gonna determine if this character is good or not is gonna be his substats. Alright, so in the new game mode, this is look kind of like it's gonna look, and we'll translate some of this stuff too. So I'm gonna go over what's translated right now, and we're gonna go over some of the other pieces in this game. Alright, so the dev notes. Nothing to write here about, so they're just talking about KOF upcoming patch for future development. Cool. Alright, September 24 patch. New heroes can be added and engravings are opening for all four of the new characters. Alright, new costumes are added. Periods be September 24th through October 8th. Cool. The Gacha Barrett, period September 4th. Oh, oh man. Oh, they're doing the same banner as last time for the AOT banner, but instead you get to choose a character instead of it being random. So having four new KOF characters are being added, but you can pick one. So, yeah. You know, you know how people complain about banner rushing on Global? Well, the last three banners on JP were the King banner, and then immediately following that king uh, hi kabuki i see you okay um the king banner then it was the um the evil lilia banner and then this banner so we've kind of had three back-to-back -back banners that people really really wanted to pull on we didn't have any skip weeks so 
uh, the, the fact that it's every other week really helps. So we're having the same banner pacing right now on JP as we have on global, and we're seeing the same kind of diminishing returns. So uh, I know you guys are saying global is going too fast, but we've, we're, we're actually experiencing the same thing on JP. So don't think that there's any difference right now between the two versions as far as banners go. Uh, for the last few months, it's very similar so we're getting we're getting milked as hard in jp as you guys are in global so and I got, well i guess us guys are getting hard in global because i play both so whatever all right oh but the thing caveat ludo seals on the banner so ludo this is the first time he's returning to the game so this is actually semi worth pulling on for me because ludo's on this banner and i could try to go for ludo dupes because that's really the only character i really want to pull at this point part two is kind of like out yes do you want me to expose your d okay i'm gonna expose kabuki dm so look Want to do a Genshin edit for fun? I do you do you want me to send you the Genshin video? Oh yeah, there's a new Genshin intro. Do you want that file? Which one you want, Kabuki? Okay, give me a minute, okay? Like I just made it, okay? Just chill, bro. <laughs> just chill. I will send it to you. Okay, let me finish recording. All right. Next up, we got uh, rules for ungeared PvP rewards. Wait, what? Uh, September 28th to October 11th, exclusive rule in ungeared PvP? Uh, all organized heroes in the Pokemon Park. Oh! Four player PvP! Yo! Wait, 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 what? Yo! Four player PvP! That came out of nowhere! Let's go! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, okay, okay. Rule for the first week. Okay, rank number one in ungeared PvP. Diamonds 100. Nice. Super Awakening coin times 10? Yo! These rewards. Top 100 ungeared. There's actually a reason to do it? Fuck yes. Let's go, baby. Fuck geared. I'm down, dude. Fuck you. This, this is amazing. Bruh. Is this real? Is this a... Rules for ungeared. Yeah, it's, this is what it says for ungeared. I hope this is ungeared. If this is geared, fuck. But if this is ungeared, yo, what's up, dude? We can actually do it. This is like, this is accessible to everyone. I don't have to make you our gear for all these characters. <laughs> Good job, Net Marble. Thank you. I don't have to make you our gear for any of these motherfuckers. Nice. Yo, let's go, baby. Thank you for making this easier. Awesome. And I don't have to go for dupes when I want to. Perfect. All right. So we got uh, diamond rewards and super awakening cords all the way through first in the place. Oh, it's sick. Oh, my God. Um, this is sick. Okay. I don't know what the... Wait, wait. It's period. So... What? Oh, okay. So you get three dupes of one kind of, it, of the characters. You can buy another one. Don't do that. That's su that's this is like three dupes. That's way too many. Two, yeah, sure, but three, nah. Don't do that. It's fucking super not worth. Um, okay. Wait, what? Oh, but you can buy Keo, which is the the be the best character of the badge. This is the one with the ignite cards. One time, okay. So this is cool. This is cool. Yo, imagine though. Yo, imagine four player PvP. You know, I think that yo, imagine actually. You know who the best team in Ungeared is gonna be right now? I think if you can actually pull it off imagine oh like a triple pierce comp like you're just running all pierce characters that would be fucked <laughs> he's so fucked get those extra cards for the aoe that would be super fucked all right um let's see here but you know pierce being nerfed in jp what are you gonna do all right let's see nothing here except just like this is how the uh the stuff looks okay story events added sins rule clear 10 stages okay that's the story event stuff but don't need to worry about that Calic returns fuck all right so uh looks like a lot of different times on jp what happens is you know that i guess what we're doing is we're doing like a two to four week cycle on uh a guild bus now, and uh, it's going to be recurring. And uh, that's, that's the oof. That's the oof. And if you hear my DMs go off during this, it's Kabuki because he's impatient as fuck. We love you, Kabuki, but, sh but chill, bro. Anyways. <laughs> Relax, bro. You're paying with your life. <laughs> 
So be it. I don't know what he says in these videos now. I'm so tired. I'm, I need to get some more sleep. All right, Guild Wars. Guild Wars will be starting every Tuesday, beginning of the month, starting Saturday. Oh, sick. So, uh, is Guild Wars going to be public now? Is is that this is the public announcement for Guild Wars? Okay. Target period is for raking calculations on Sunday, first week of every month, participate in the text block section, matching period, first battle battle, and first car battle, second preparation. There's no announcements. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So here's the, uh, the brackets. Okay, so Guild Boss is coming to everyone. It looks like. Okay, League Devils of Challenger, ranks rank one to four, up in Knights five to eight, Master, uh, so Champ is five to eight, Master is nine to 12, Plat is 13 to 16. No, it's just top 32 guilds. It's just top two of the guilds. Do they fucking call people flat iron guild? Oh my god, that's so mean. It's just still it's still top thirty two, so no one cares. Don't worry about it. Guild guild wars, same shit. It's only top thirty two guilds. Don't don't worry about it. Eh, fuck it. I don't care about it either. I don't really want to push for top thirty two guilds every week. That sounds like a hell hell grind as already. Alright, um let's see. This right here. <gasps> yeah! Oh my god! Massive QOL change! Oh, Netmarble. Okay, so you know how on the skip tickets for the the events, you actually are able now to just click one button and then it automatically selects all the units for you. Yay! I don't have to click each individual one, fill the team every single time. Thank you! God, that was so annoying! That, that'll save me like two, three minutes every morning on both accounts. I was like... Oh, and that uh, I don't know how, how bad that you know what just thinking about this I wonder if this is gonna work on blue stacks because for me whenever I try to load the teams it takes a little minute a minute I wonder how long this is gonna take to load all the teams on blue stacks that's actually kind of uh so uh, you can now select all heroes, so that's great. Okay, hero balancing. Okay, so this is the thing I was talking about. Mon Speed's getting a buffer as ulti, so he's take we're taking the global buff that we have currently, right? And they're putting that on JP, so that's cool. All right. I might have to split this into two videos. I think I might just put out the KOF video and then put out this video or something like that. I don't know. Anyways. Red Esterosha Dim. Skill 2 has been buffed. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so the Red Star skill, uh, uh, the, the thing has been buffed. I didn't even catch this. Okay, so apparently the other character that had the co-destruction ability, which was the Re Kyo, I think? No. Yeah, Kyo, who had the Red Esterosa ability, got his got his card for co-destruction, and I didn't even notice it was buffed, but apparently it's buffed because no one uses Red Esterosa. Um, but that card got buffed. Okay, and co-destruction now does once and goes up by a little bit. And it was enough, mm, I'd say about as much as weakness. So that's good. Um, events. Participation in the events can earn you various rewards. Cool, I like rewards. All right, what are we getting? Okay, so we're getting, here's the new event taskbar. That's how it looks. We're getting like diamonds, super awakening coins, all the good shit. Okay, so basically everything you need. Rewards for each week. Wait, wait, for what? Event awards. Okay, so event awards for each week. These are, uh, these are like the login rewards, I'm guessing. And then you get, okay, so it's these five and then these five. So these are just login rewards. Uh, oh, we get a part one ticket. Uh, and then a bunch of mats we need. Cool. Other events. Increase successful leveling up heroes. Increase success in dismantling items. So we're getting another salvage event. So it uh, looks like what they're doing is they're actually increasing the frequency of salvage events and increased level up events, which is good. Because the, the thing with JP was we went like three months without a salvage event, and that was a pain in the ass. All right, so brawl PvP rows. This is 3v3. All right, chests received in the brawl event have been changed for a limited time. Cool. Okay. So the changes are we get better shit. Fuck, dude, I just burned all my coins this morning. Well, I guess I was burning all my good shit, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Anyways, I don't know if this is going to reset or you have to reset this whole thing. So 3v3 stuff, uh, we got more rewards. That's basically what it's saying. Okay, we're getting better rewards, and equipment awakening stones, etc. Um, yeah, dude, I mean, that's kind of good. I mean, it's not, I don't know if it's better. It's just different. Oh, these are the brawl boxes. So these are actually the winning boxes. Oh, okay. So like you do three matches every day, and then this is the victory box. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. KOF special event. All right. 
We're getting 10 tickets. We get a multi. Achieve during the event. During the event period. Clear final episode of World Quest. Clear KOF, Britannia, normal difficulty. These are so you do these five missions, and you get a, a multi. Okay, so those tickets uh, confirmed are singles. I just was figuring out this, this is collaboration tickets. Tim saying so this is definitely singles. All right, this is the Hawk Pass. We get a part two ticket, part one ticket. We are getting costumes in the Hawk Pass for free, so everybody's getting these Hawk Pass costumes. We're getting uh, Shira Nui's costumes. Shira Nui, Shira Nui. I don't know who Shiranui is. Is it Mai or is it the Rio character? Which one's Shiranui? Who the fuck is Shiranui? Is this guy Shiranui? No, this is Rugal. Mai, it's Mai. Okay, so we're getting Mai's waifu cosmetics, looks like, for free. So that's good. Thank you, chat. All right, Athena's event. Get the keys and participating 20 per day. Main stage, free stage, Fort Sogres, Walt the Lily Train Cave. Cool. Up to 136 can be unchained. Keys? Oh, these are just okay. So we're getting uh this bingo board thing back. Okay, so this thing is the best event that they've come out with. Um uh, did we get this on global yet? Where you click a bunch of the squares? I don't think you did yet. We did yet, right? Alright, so um I showed this off in another video. Um basically you click this board and they flip over the cards and you get the rewards out of the cards, and then you click this button up here, and then it goes to the next tier of rewards. It's uh it's really good. Um it's it's an I we, I kind of want the repeat of the Hawk one. The Hawk the new Hawk mini game is way more fun. I mean the Hawk mini game is my favorite. This is my second favorite. The rewards on this are better, but the Hawk mini game is just more fun. All right, then uh, okay. So here are the reward list. Okay, so when you reset the tiers on this thing, these are the re this is the reward list. So you get the 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 difference is you have to choose instead of like getting all of these. So you choose between first tier is uh, SSR neck and uh, UR chest. So obviously you pick SSR necks. Then you choose between visal hammers and anvils. You choose that between diamonds and super awakening coins. Uh, you hella choose five super awakening coins over five fucking diamonds. Wow, they're devaluing super awakening coins like crazy. Okay. This is a huge thing right here. This first thing right here on the stage three, this is now showing you the value of Super Awakening coins that are now, they're trying to put the, they're trying to put a diamond value on Super Awakening coins. So just watch out for this in your mental, in your head. Um, so Super Awakening coins are, you would like, you would say, oh, it's like a Poco. I would always choose the diamonds because I need diamonds. No, you always pick the Super Awakening coins. This right here is worth one and a, uh, one and two thirds rainbow SSR coins as far as super awakening coins. So this is super way worth versus diamonds and it's That's the value they're putting on it now We're getting a lot more super awakening coins in the last month on JP the amount that we've gotten In comparison to the first month is probably about five times as many super awakening coins So my assumption is because of these kinds of changes and how how they're devaluing super awakening coins What's gonna happen on the global version is super awakening is going to be amazing. Okay, the reason I'm thinking Super Awakening on Global is actually going to be extremely amazing is because of how devalued Super Awakening card coins are going to be on JP within the next few months because of how many we're getting. So we're getting so many, by the way, that you can... Up I actually have extra. That was I had extra to actually do like Red Nunchuck Bond. And I was like, oh, this is sick. I'm going to do a random showcase. So this is incredible for YouTubers. This is incredible for free-to-play players. This is incredible for everyone. So if you are free-to-play and you're worried about Super Awakening, this is an incredible QOL change that was kind of a hidden thing that they said that we're doing. But this this is the level that they're doing it at. So if you're worried about not being able to set Super Awakening characters on launch, just know within a few months of Super Awakening coins, uh, this is about three and a half months, the Super Awakening coins have become so devalued on the Japanese version that we're getting so many more that you can actually Super Awakening a, a very large amount of characters. So after your original burst of using a lot of gold coins and SSR coins, in order to do that, you should be able to then switch over ex exclusively to just Super Awakening coins if you're free to play. So Super Awakening to me for free to play is going to be incredible. Looks like just I'm very excited for that. So if you are free to play and you're thinking about doing Super Awakening for characters, save your rainbow coins and just use your gold coins for Super Awakening because it looks like you're going to be able to just use this. And that seems awesome to me. I don't even, like, if you're going to be using your gold coins, what you could do is you could actually start purchasing dupes of SSR characters with gold coins once you finish purchasing all of your actual coins here. Um, so if you are, if you have been saving your gold coins, like I mentioned in the video previously, this is a great thing that you should, you could be doing. 
But because of the devaluing of Super Awakening coins on the Japanese version and what we're seeing here is that on the global version, when it does come, it's going to be really good. So I'm excited for Super Awakenings on global now. I had not been excited for it. No one had been excited for it. But once I saw this right here, the devaluing of Super Awakening coins to for five diamonds is now five Super Awakening coins. They've massively devalued the level and it's good. If you didn't see it, we had a podcast a while back. In the podcast, Alex was talking about how they take different kinds of currencies and when they first get released, they have a massively high value. And then over time, they devalue those kinds of resources so that they become more accessible and then they can come out with the next resource. So this also shows to me that there's gonna be another type of evolution that's gonna be coming within the next three months that will be for upgrading characters. So just know that there is gonna be another power creep coming sometime within the next three months and that is already in place because of this devalue so i'm not saying that as a certainty but i'm saying that as i pretty much believe that at this point all right so here's another devaluation of super awakening coins another one we're getting part one ssr ticket versus super awakening so that's great so we can see that there um looks like encryptment engraving stones anvils great part two ssr tickets great and lots of cool things okay so ssr appreciation uh apprenticeship wizard sounds good and oh wow okay so you have to choose between five diamonds and a cosmetic wow uh obviously you pick the cosmetic every time ssr withered gloves or s oh no you just get it you just get it then you just get it. okay no you don't, there's no choice i just okay okay i've read that wrong so you get the cosmetics so um, in these you get for four seven and ten you get free cosmetics awesome this is really good. Okay, so we're getting a total of six free cosmetics, but they're all SSR cosmetics, so nothing like insane. So six free cosmetics for the collab characters, so that's great. Um, I'm, I'm happy about that. I mean, it's gonna save me some resources because there are a lot of cosmetics, so there's no way I can like do super awakening, come to cosmetic upgrades for all these characters. This is insane. You're mad lad net marble. I don't know about this. All right. Won't be posting what you can see here is pretty much the same as Final Boss Eskinar, really. Okay, so okay, KOF Britannia. Uh, okay, okay. So here it is, final boss right there. Okay, so it, it pretty much was 16. All three rounds must be organized. Your heroes cannot be changed until the tournament's over. Whoa, okay. Touch estado. Okay, so there's a tournament bracket. So with the tournament bracket, you get, which is this thing right here, you get these coins. And the coins allow you to end in here. So it's a 16 round tournament, and all three heroes must be organized. Your selected heroes cannot be changed until the tournament's over. You can use fighter coins to add support heroes, and you can you, you can continue the battle by using fighter coins. You can change the difficulty by using the reset button. Cool. Rare tier hero. Oh! <laughs> This is probably SR, not SSR, by the way. So it looks like Rare is getting boosted by 30% in this event. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. I like this. This is cool. Cool. I like this. I'm guessing this is SR and not SSR. And SR is probably getting a 20% bump. So this is sick. I like this. Good job, Netmarble. Um, I'm guessing he typoed this. I'm not 100% sure. Again, don't, don't aim me for this. this like, again, a lot of this information is transferred up. He, you know. And all and KG is the only one who types this out, so he, like he's fallible. Don't, don't worry. All right, so where do your fighter coins? You get them from boss battles, annihilation, and fight mine final boss Rugal. Cool. You get five coins per day uh, in the coin shop, but you can get up to thirty in other places. Great tournament info. Okay, there's gonna be eight teams, forty thousand or more, sixty-seven thousand or more, one hundred twenty thousand or more. Okay. Uh, don't need to worry about the rest of this. Okay, reward list. What do we get? Oh my god, that's so tiny. Okay. It says. Ah. Pig Hat Tavern Team. Okay. So diamonds, diamonds, SSR chats. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Super Awakening coins. Diamonds, diamonds. Oh, wait. Okay, so if you're... Oh, this is sick! Okay, so if you're, uh, if you're doing the normal difficulty, you get diamonds like crazy. And the hard difficulty, diamonds like crazy. If you're in the extreme difficulty, no diamonds. <laughs> Fuck you, you get no diamonds, bitch. Okay, so if you want to do normal hard, you get diamonds. But if you do extreme, though, you get super awakening coins. SSR evolution medals, anvils, visal hammers. Some, what was a diamond? Look at that, a diamond. Uh, S, and then a graving stone, super awakening coins. Super, they, they, so they like, yo, if you're doing extreme, you end game. You don't need diamonds. Fuck you. You don't, you don't need diamonds for shit. You're a bitch. <laughs> so basically... Um, if you want to farm diamonds, you do hard. 
Interesting. I don't know how often you can do this, but I'm, uh, it's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So uh, hard might be the difficulty to farm diamonds in this event. This is kind of interesting. Okay. Might, might say, fuck you, uh, no Marvel. I don't give a shit about extremes. Uh, fucking rewards. Who cares? <laughs> Anyways, there might be like a limit on rewards. We'll have to see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Difficulty, three awakening stones, 20% of the time. Three tokens commitment, 30% of the time. Two tokens commitment, 50% of the time for bar box. Okay, so for Awakening Storm, four-star Awakening Stones. You can farm four-star Awakening Stones? What are tokens of commitment? What are tokens of commitment? I'm guessing these are tw tokens of commitment. commitment. I don't actually know. We'll have to find out. Okay, exchange shop. Okay, here's the exchange shop. We can, we can buy a lot of stuff. Here's the item exchange list. I'll make it bigger so we're not Papegas. All right. Uh, seven million since KOF, collaboration tickets, uh, full awakening tokens. Oh, okay, we had a full awakening. Basically, full awakening the character. That's cool. Um, five star stones, SSR chest, five star SSR. Is there anything like, useful? Oh, we're getting cosmetic upgrades. Oh, cool. Cosmetics. Ha ha ha. This is what we care about. Okay, so we're getting cosme more free cosmetics. Wow. So every character in the entire thing, we're getting cosmetics for all of them. That's cool. So it looks like we're getting, uh, it looks like Kyo's cosmetics. We're getting four cosmetics for him. Uh, we're getting a total of one cosmetic for Mai and then two for Asami. And we're getting other ones for this. So we're getting a ton of SSR cosmetics in this, co in this event. I'm assuming there's one, since there was one set of purchasable cosmetics at the start of this, it looks like they're only coming out with one set of purchasable cosmetics for each character. Good on you, Namarble. Good on you, okay? I will give you props for this. So that means that all the other cosmetics are free to play, and there's only one set of purchasable? Okay. These ones are pay to win. Sure. Okay. It's it does it's not perfect for free to play, but free to play is gonna be a fuckload of cosmetics, and there's only one set of purchasables that you have to get. I can live with this. All right. One in the chat if this is good. Two in the chat if this is trash. Honestly, one set not being available for free to play, totally fine since where everything else is rating for free. I'm fine with this. Totally cool. I don't have to buy 19 different fucking sets of fucking cosmetics for every different character and burn all my diamonds trying to get all the cosmetics for all the characters out of the AOT collab. This is 10 times better. One set. I'm cool with this. Now, free to play already got kind of fucked on the uh, AO the AOT collab where we didn't, you weren't able to get one set of the co all of the cosmetics at all if you didn't wouldn't purchase them, which totally sucked. But you got some cosmetics for free, and I was like, okay. But like now we're actually able to purchase these cosmetics. You can't buy them with diamonds. We can only buy them with dollars. One set for pay to play. Everything else free to play. I'm okay with this. This is fine. This is this is okay because there has to be some kind of an advantage for pay to play players. Otherwise pay to play players riot and then they get mad that there's no whale advantage you can't do anything and then free to play is all burr and they like eh. so free to play gets everything and then we get one thing for pay to play this is this is good okay net marble good on you you are making some great changes in your, your collabs i like this it makes me very excited for future collabs I'd say this is awesome. So this is a great change. Uh, you did the good change on the AOT collab too, so this is awesome too. Okay, so let's go. There's even more shit. Holy fuck. Um, all right, KOF stuff. Wow, how long is, is I'm, I'm recording for 40 minutes already? Jesus. All right. So uh, KOF stuff. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a long news video. Okay. KOF stuff sounds good. Okay, more KOF stuff sounds good. KOF attendance event. This is a world event for KOF, so okay. Tickets, tickets and got jetpacks. All right, this is what we can buy. All right, purchasable period stuff. Okay, so what? Okay, so five dollar, ten dollar pack. Reduced. Okay, it's the same. Okay, so basically, right now we have these changed diamond packs. Oh, look, the collab tickets. This is actually nice. Okay, this is cool. Fifty bucks. And you get 50 diamonds plus 30 multi, uh, three multis. So what is that? Four multis for f 40 bucks, actually, US. Four multis, 40 bucks plus 10, 20 diamonds. Slightly better 
Uh, $10 multis, so that's 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 worth. Okay, so this this is okay. $10 multis. Okay, I see this. Sure. And then this one is 102 plus 65. So you're getting, if we did the math there, 90, right? So that's six, nine, nine multis for $90 or $80 on US if you want to do a comparison. So it's a little bit better. So you get a little bit better than $10 multis, like $8 or $9 multis, something like that. Okay. And then you get a little extra on top. Okay. Okay. So the, the value packs are, are increasing slightly. So we're getting a little bit better value per multi as far as pay to play. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. And um, this once per account is you get for, I don't know, 15 bucks, you get 30 some diamonds. So it's like BOGO. Oh, that's a weird pack. These ones are okay. This one is weird. This one is also like a dollar, by the way. So that's gonna you get four tickets for a dollar. So that's cool. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is interesting. So we're getting the cosmetic upgrade pack. Okay, so the cosmetic upgrade pack has now been boosted. Okay. So the packs that are out right now in JP, those ones are going to be leaving soon. So we're on our, if you wanted to buy the cosmetic upgrade packs and get lots of co lots of cosmetic upgrades, you can get those. But looks like we can actually get more cosmetic upgrades right now, and you can buy them for this value, which is twenty five bucks for double value. So cosmetic upgrade packs have been boot doubled. Great. Whoa. Okay. Forty five dollars for a thousand anvils. Okay. So right now comparison you get 30 diamonds and 600 anvils so you like this is actually worse by the way uh actually no i uh, know it's the same value same value because well yeah so 600 diamonds for 25 dollars versus a thousand diamonds for 45 dollars no it's the same yeah same dollars same value no worse value worse value worse value math hard math really hard very comparable value you have comparable value so there's comparable value on diamond packs and anvil pack, uh, cosmetic packs on anvil packs for the current packs that we have right now um you get a lot of diamonds this is a very cool change i guess for a lot of anvils uh so you don't have to farm as many anvils out so that's cool so if you're a whale this is really good it is a great time to be a whale right now it's a great time to be a free-to-play player on jp so there's a lot of cool QL changes i'm excited for all of these changes coming to the global and that's going to be the entirety of the patch notes that we have for jp my first thoughts on the kof collab is is it's fire best collab ever for sure it's like the like the weirdest characters right first off that's the the weirdest collab ever but the best overall collab like it's actually a good event but like with weird characters so i'm just like i don't know if i can be hyped about the characters but i'm hyped about the actual event being really good so like that's that's interesting so i'm very excited for some things all right, guys, my name is Seiko Poco. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys didn't enjoy the video, of course, like and subscribe, all the fun stuff. And you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.